Hi, everybody. This is Alex Bennett, and this is a news break. Uh, I figured I would do one today because, well, I have sad news. Uh, an old friend, somebody I knew years ago, died today. Uh, he was 95 years old, and he was Stan Lee. Uh, I got to know Stan years ago and years ago. I haven't seen him since, actually. When I was doing my radio show in New York City, and I... Uh, I used to have him on uh, talking about Marvel Comics and about his place at Marvel Comics. And then what he would always do on the program, and it was always a treat, was he would read Spider-Man to the kids. And uh, it, it was always delightful. And I always liked Stan. And Stan did uh, two very nice things for me, uh, things that made me the envy of every comic book freak in America. Number one... He asked me to MC the Comic Book Awards show, which was a small little event done in a small room here in New York City where a lot of the big cartoon greats uh, uh, would gather. Uh, it was the time I met Bob Kane, the guy who, along with Bill Finger, created Batman. Um, and so, but I, I wasn't a big comic book freak, so going to these things and emceeing it was not a big deal for me. I just did it because I did it for Stan. He asked me to do it, and so I did it. The other thing he asked me to do was they had a, a big thing at, uh, uh, at Carnegie Hall in which uh, they were going to get people who were celebrities, and in New York, I guess I was a local celebrity, and get up on stage at Carnegie Hall and read the comics and play the parts of various characters. And I remember I was told to play Dr. Doom. It was a character I knew very little about, and years later I've been able to find more about because I've seen things like, you know, the Fantastic Four and so on. But uh, I got to recite... Uh, uh, Dr. Doom uh, from the stage of Carnegie Hall. I remember calling my mother from backstage saying, guess what, Mom? And she said, what? And I said, I'm about to go on stage at Carnegie Hall. And she was so proud of that, she went around for weeks telling people how proud she was of her son for playing Carnegie Hall. But the fact of the matter was that uh, Stan was uh, back then uh, a decent friend and a really nice guy, and I always remember him very fondly. And when we found out today that at the age of 95 uh, he had died, I paused for a moment. Uh, hey, he was 95. God, if I live that long, it's a mitzvah, right? But still, I paused because I liked Stan. Stan was one of those guys who I really kind of enjoyed. And so I just say to everybody, you know, uh, for whatever anybody wants to think about Stan Lee, because he's been there's been a lot of controversy about his actual contribution to the comics and so on and so forth. The fact was he was a great guy and he was a great representative for the comic book industry as a whole. And yes, he was always very much a self-promoter, but in that self-promotion promoted the artists and promoted the comics that were being done. Uh, I wish I could say I'm going to miss Stan. I haven't seen him in years and years and years and years. But I still had to pause for a moment because I like Stan a lot. Goodbye, Stan. We love you.